as Nigeria, one of Africa's leading economy, entered second recession in five years, its gross domestic product, GDP, which measures the total monetary values of goods and services produced in the country within one year, contracted by 3.62% in third quarter 2020, according to the National Bureau of Statistics, NBC. Meanwhile, the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, said the current recession will not last long. She stated this while addressing the 26th Nigerian Economic Summit, organized by the Nigerian Economic Summit Group in concert with the Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning. This has, however, generated reactions from Nigerians who blame the economic downturn to poor policies by the federal government and other authorities concerned. We are not producing anything. We are depending 100% on imports. So in as much as we are not producing anything, we are still consuming. No way prepared. Our spending is too much. As a cost of governance, it's too much. So I'm blaming the government for this recession we are into. Policy makers, it is their job. It's not the, the commoners to come and formulate policies. It is the economic handlers that formulate policies that will boost the economy, that will promote productivity. Some public affairs analysts, on their part, blame the recession on the oil price crash brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic and advice for reduction in the cost of governance as well as salary review of top government officials. What this government needs to do is to see how we can wean off the country from dependence on crude oil. Once we have uh, the, the machinery to win off the country from crude oil, then I believe that um, we'll be able to insulate ourselves in the event of any future pandemic or global meltdown. Into economic recession, because if you look at it in reality, it was because the global oil prices went from $60 per barrel to almost $20 at the beginning of the year, in March or April, before it now bounced back to 42 So because we're a monoproduct economy, we'll always have these issues. However, some economists prefer solutions on ways to end recession through the use of the nation's abundant resources. Some expertise to this field to ensure that new, new uh, innovation of the economic policy is being put in place that will suit the status quo, the status quo of the changing of the economies. Inflation weakens the strength of one's pocket. For example, if you are any 200,000, what your 200,000 be able to buy presently, you discover that a few months ago you would have been able to achieve more. So the cost of inflation is more on the common man. Nigeria is one of Africa's leading economies, but figures shows that the nation is officially a recession as its foreign exchange and roughly half of government revenue have dropped amid calls for government to increase fundings for health care and social services in the face of the coronavirus pandemic challenges. Phoebe Kure, Liberty News.